Hi, boys and girls, Mrs. Batliner, and I'm here today to read for you our next March Madness book edition. This book is going to go against our Langston Hughes book that was read earlier. Our story is called I'm From, words by Gary R. Gray Jr., pictures by Oj Mora. These have some great illustrations in this book as well. So remember, on the page on the right is the dedication page. It says, this is for Niana and Preston and scraped knees and ashy elbows. I love you all. And that dedication is from Gary Gray Jr. And to my big brothers, Onye and Bosa. And that is from our illustrator, Oj Mora. So this book is a little bit interesting because it's kind of talking about where someone is from, like what makes you, you. So kind of think about that as we're reading this story. I come from early morning wake-ups, handcrafted blankets, knitted with memories. Look at that beautiful blanket. Is that my favorite? Pan fried bologna, homemade pancakes, strawberry jam? Raise your hand if you like pan fried bologna. Yeah, I used to eat fried bologna all the time, but I have not had it in a very long time. I come from have to beat the traffic. Boy, you better hurry up. I'm going to be late for work. So take a look at the illustration there. Does that ever remind you of you? Yeah, sometimes when an adult in your house is in a hurry and they have to go, 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 but you're petting the dog, you haven't gotten, <coughs> oh, excuse me, you haven't gotten your lunchbox yet or your backpack. Cotton candy hair and razor sharp lineups, high fades and low fades, tight ponytails and laid edges. What's up, y'all? So do you know what cotton candy hair and all those are? Yeah, those are types of haircuts. Rumbling, rattle, vroom. This is a great story about onomatopoeia. Remember, we talked about that a long time ago, where the words kind of make the noise that you can see. Good morning beats, hip hop and vibrating seats and sunrise dancing. This bus ain't going nowhere until y'all Sit down. So have you ever been on a bus and you've been really, really noisy and you've jumped up and, and all of a sudden the bus driver yells at you that you have to sit down? Take a look at all of them in their seats. Yeah, they're not being very, very careful, are they? And the bus driver, I think, is pretty mad. Four square hoop dreams grounders, double dutch freeze tag. You're it, you're it. Too soon morning whistles. So the, per, the, uh, the person that is talking in this story, he says he is from like recess time. And if you look, have you ever played four square during recess or, you know, kind of taken a ball out uh, or played double dutch? If you look at the girl in the pink, she is doing double dutch. That's two jump ropes or freeze tag. And then you're all having fun and all of a sudden the recess aides blow the whistles or the bell rings when recess is over. I come from long school days, sky high bookshelves, dusty classics, books that don't click with me one or that or two that do so yeah as a media specialist i always say 
If you find a book that you like, you will become an avid reader. So looking at him, there's only, look at the big pile that don't click with him. But he does find one or two that he does like. And the other kids, can I touch your hair? You don't sound black. Do you play basketball? So that's boys and girls called stereotyping. And so sometimes we stereotype if a, a person is a certain way, then they should do a certain thing or they should sound a certain way. And that's not necessarily always the case. Where are you from? So think about someone who like maybe came from Australia or came from London or even came from down south. Yeah, or Mexico. They have those things called accents. And when we aren't used to that kind of accent, we're like, where are you from? How do you think this makes him feel? You know, we talked about that before in the book, Big, how our words hurt. So I really want us in the school city of Hammond to really think about the words that you're saying. I'm from notebooks, stubby pencils, drawing my own heroes, writing my own stories. What great illustrations. So yeah, so if you like to write and if you like to draw, those would be good things in uh, to become an author or an illustrator. Honey, what you want? Caramel candy squares, butterscotch buttons, Tootsie Rolls. So if you look, it looks like he is in a candy store. If you were in a candy store, what would you choose? Oh my gosh, I have so many favorites. Tootsie Rolls are my favorite. Um, I do like M&Ms with peanut butter. So I think if I was in that store, I would have a very difficult time deciding what I wanted. I'm from leftovers, buttermilk biscuits, baked beans, and you better eat what's on your plate. Bear tight cuddles, late night belly laughs, taking turns and rolling dice. Is it bedtime already? How many of you have to eat everything on your plate before you get up from the dinner table? Yeah, when I was little, I used to have to sit at the dinner table a lot because I did not like vegetables and my mom would make me sit there like sometimes two hours before I finally decided that I had to eat them. Yeah. So this is a great way to talk about like family dynamics and the things that, that you do. I'm from moon as a nightlight, soft pecks on the cheek. Sleep tight and remember you're from. Our dreams, hopes, ambitions, lion-like traditions. I come from somewhere. So a little bit different story, you know, doesn't really have like a main idea and a plot and all this exciting stuff, but it really does make us think like, where do we come from? What are our traditions? What are the things that we like? Our favorite breakfasts, our favorite things we like to do at nighttime. So a little bit different, but I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you the next time.